So what's your version of uh, how we became three fire guys? All right, we all got fired. <laughs> At one point, the three guys who started Steam Whistle, Greg, myself, and Greg Cromwell, we all got fired from Upper Canada Brewing Company. Another company had purchased the brewery and was slowly dismantling everything that had made it special. So we were obviously on that chopping block. It was a, it was a very traumatic time in our life. All we had done for the last you know, 15 years was work in a brewery. Uh, we all went and did some different stuff for a couple of years. And, uh, Meanwhile, I had this uh, business I started, which was a, uh, a white label ATM business. But it really wasn't the type of business that keeps Quite beer in your fridge. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't fun. It, I wasn't really that passionate about it. So we, luckily, fortunately enough, uh, Frank continued to run the annual Upper Canada Canoe Trip, which we did every year. A big group of staff would go up north early May, and, and it was over the, the year Late after it was closed. Evening, one yeah. night by the river. Fire was raging. Beers were flowing. People were starting to go to sleep. And that's when the conversation started with Greg, Greg and I talking about, you know what? We got to get back in the beer business. And uh, that next week, we incorporated uh, three fire guys brewing and started to write the business plan. Then the next thing we had to do was find a location where we were going to put our Canada's community brewery and we right from day one we, we always wanted to be urban and we wanted to have a special place that cathedral of beer and so we looked at uh, you know as you could imagine looked at historical buildings I mean I don't know if there's many we haven't hadn't looked at my dad he said guys I love we love your idea but you guys are crazy you got your equipment it's sitting there collecting dust sooner or later you're gonna have to make some beer um, so you might just have to give up on, you know, uh, your, your, your dream building. So Greg called me the next morning and he says, Cam, I'm, I'm picking you up. So he came and picked me up in the car. So we're just going to drive around town and we're going to find some building that either hasn't been listed or is derelict or something. So we drove around and he drove down here on the gardener and got off of the roundhouse. And uh, we parked out front. I stopped on Bremner, I ran across the park and uh, looked in the building and it was like, this is the Cathedral of Beer. It's just fantastic. We had been talking about a brand that would have a feeling of the age of innocence, um, a time of overbuilt quality, the retro vintage look and feel. With those thoughts in mind, what if we had a steam whistle on the roof of the building and we just blew it off at five o'clock? And then and the whole city would run out and drink our beer. Yeah, they'd see the smoke, they'd hear the sound, and then they'd try our Billsman. And what a great message. The year 2000, March 22nd, our first bottle of steam whistle was filled off the line. Uh, those people that worked there, they're the ones that took the beer home, had their friends drink it, their family drink it, talked up with the brewery, and our staff really need to believe in what we're doing. Because if our staff don't believe in what we're doing, how are consumers going to believe in that? If you create that place where people are happy, you can create very special products. Because then I would argue you cannot create the best quality unless you have passion. I think at the end of the day, you know, for us, it's not, it's not about a business, but it's about a place that we love to go to. And I think for us, that's the most important part. Life is short. And as Cam said one day, I mean, if you can make a difference, why not? We're here to make friends and enjoy our lives. And uh, so, we're, you know, for us, that's what we get up in the morning to do. And so far, it's worked pretty well. It's still working. That's the dream coming true. Cheers. Hey. <laughs>